the problem that we started having with babies um, withdrawing from drugs that moms were taking during pregnancy happened very gradually. We'd see a baby a week, then two, then three, then four, and to the point where we found that 10% you know, of the babies that we had in the hospital were there because they were withdrawing from mom's drug use. The babies shake. They have what we call tremors. They have um, uncontrollable crying. Um, they have an inability to settle themselves. And these type of neurologic symptoms can be so severe that they affect the baby's vital functions. It can affect breathing. It can affect um, seizures. The nurses have a hard time, I think. These babies require a lot of care, and sometimes, despite our best efforts, there's still a period of time before we can get them comfortable, and it's hard for the nursing staff who's at the bedside all the time to see that. Because there isn't a lot of published literature, evidence about what's the best possible treatment for these babies, we felt that the most important thing for us to do was to standardize. So what we did here at this hospital was we got all of our neonatologists together, our nurses, our pharmacists, um, our social workers, and really tried to develop a comprehensive pathway for these treatments of these babies. We had a length of stay, an, an average length of stay of about 28 days, so almost a month, and we've gotten that down to about three weeks. We don't know long term what this is going to mean for these babies. Has it changed their brain development? Are there other things that we're going to need to watch for as these babies grow and develop?